All right, with everything going on in the world right now, I want to share a story that might bring you a little hope. A veteran on the verge of losing his home is saved by a group of strangers. Our Emily Longnecker shows us the incredible community effort making a mark on one man's life. We had donations from one end of the country to the next. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Now, was, you know, you got to be happy about that. 77 year old John Holiday is so happy he can't help but cry tears of joy after total strangers were willing to give in any way they could to help the Vietnam veteran who was days away from being on the streets last month after the health department threatened to condemn his Muncie home. We could barely call it a shell of a home, to be honest. Even on a fixed income, John had saved money to pay for the repairs, but got scammed. He put all of his savings into that home and that contractor robbed him blind. With little choice left, John turned to Delaware County Veterans Affairs. After a Facebook post about John's situation went viral and his story hit the news. My office phone has been nonstop with people calling in. Some donating money, others offering their time to fix John's home, which had to be demolished and is being rebuilt from the ground up. We now are on a very tight schedule to have his home rebuilt by Thanksgiving. John isn't just getting a new home. Relatives he'd lost track of long ago heard about John's story and came to the work site to reconnect with him. Were you the one in school teacher? I am, I'm still doing it. Huh? He breaks down into tears every time he thinks about it. And... John Holiday isn't the only veteran who needs help. A 2019 survey in Delaware County counted 125 indigent vets and at least 25 homeless ones. This is kind of a wake up call, plain and simple. If we can turn this around in Muncie, we think that it can be turned around anywhere.